Hi everyone, this is Mitch from thesportschatplace.com, and it's Tuesday, October 6, 2009. We've got a college football game tonight, and in this one, we got Middle Tennessee State visiting Troy. Um, pretty interesting thing going on here. Um, you know, th this game's not in our picking contest. The, the picks are just going to come out today, you know, for, for this week's picking contest. Once again, giving away all kinds of cash money uh, th this month, uh, this, you know, in, in the picking contest. Through four weeks, we've given out nearly $5,000. Hasn't cost anyone a dime to enter. If you haven't entered, by all means, get involved. It's very easy. Very, very cheap, as in free, and uh, you, you win cash prizes. What's the catch? There is no catch. This is just a thank you for everyone out there who supported our site, um, you know, since the, uh, you know, at all. Um, you know, a, a year ago, I started a site. I had uh, three visitors my first week. Um, now, I have, uh, you know, half a million people drop by the site to, to read an article or to even say hello, um, you know, dur during the course of a month. So, uh, just, you know, a thank you for uh, making my dreams come through. Of course, my co-host is uh, Craig Trapp from ctsportspicks.com, my co-host on our radio show, Picks and Parlays, which airs Tuesday nights at 7 o'clock Eastern Time. Um, it, the show is going to be on tonight. I'm really not feeling well, but... Um, We'll see how the show goes, and maybe Craig will, uh, you know, take over kind of the uh, anchor role, and maybe I'll be the uh, comment guy asking uh, how we're going to make some money on this, because that's, uh, that's, of course, what Craig's uh, known for on the show. It's, uh, you know, I kind of do the uh, analysis and the uh, input, and then Craig kind of comes back with the... Uh, so how are we gonna how are we gonna make some money off of this? And uh, you know we certainly have been making money with our picks on the show. Um, you know last week we gave away that Miami Oklahoma money line <laughs> Miami on the money line, which paid nearly three to one. That was that was Mitch's money line pick of the week. But in any event, let's get back to tonight's game. Uh, I, I could talk about our picks and parlay show all, all day long. It's just uh, you know it's becoming one of the best handicapping shows. Uh, uh, you know out there. But in any event, let's get to uh, let's get to tonight's game. And in this one, it's going to be Middle Tennessee State up against Troy. I'm looking for a kind of high-scoring affair in this one. Um, I, I think we have a really skewed stat um, in this game. And the skewed stat usually equals money. Um, the line is moving upward, though, so, uh, you know, that, that's that's a little bit of an issue because uh, Middle Tennessee State can score some points. Right now, they have the number one offense in the Sun Belt. Um, Troy has a very good offense as well. Troy lost their first two games. Middle Tennessee State is 3-1. and one, Troy is 2-2. Two and two. But let's take a look at this, okay? Middle Tennessee State, they beat Maryland by, by a point. Um, they, they beat North Texas, but they were the beneficiary of, I think it was five turnovers in that game. Um, you know, very, very easily could have been a different outcome. Turnovers, biggest, uh, easiest way to uh, skew stats and to skew games scores because there's something that you can't rely on on a week-to-week -week basis. Um, you know, we, we look at Troy, and we look at their first two games that they lost, okay? The first one was the Bowling Green, which was a debacle. We all took a bath on that thing. And, you know, of course, it's still sitting ingrained in our memory. And then uh, there's also that Florida Gator game where they, I mean, they just got routed, and I don't think it would have made a difference. But what happened in Troy's last two games that have made them a better team? Um, what's happened is that they had two young defensive tackles. Those defensive tackles now have game experience. Plus, they have game experience against some of the best teams in the country, like the Florida Gators. Um, also, huge thing is they got their best linebacker back the, the last two games, who was out their first two games. Wouldn't have made a difference against Florida, but probably would have made somewhat of a difference against the Bowling Green team. So, um, you know, I, I think when you add some of your experienced players back, some of your players that came in to fill in for other guys are, um, you know, getting experience. And another thing, this is, this is the big thing about this game, is that Troy's offense, throw out the Florida game, they average way more yards per game than the Middle Tennessee State offense, which is the number one ranked offense in the Sun Belt. So really, throw out the Florida game, they're the number one ranked offense in the Sun Belt. And you know what? It's not even close. Just like I don't think this game is going to be really that close. I think it's going to be a high, high scoring affair. I don't see a number out there for the over-under, but it's over. If it's over, if, it's, if the number is anywhere 65, I'd say, or, or lower, take the over. Um, and, uh, you know, any questions, if we see that, you know, by all means, just let me know. Mitch at sportschatplace.com. So I'm on Troy in this thing. Um, and uh, so thanks for joining me. Have a great day. Listen to our show, Picks and Parlays, tonight. And uh, I'll see you guys in the forum and uh, in the chat room after the show. Have a great day.